Well, Nathan Chen is no doubt the most dominant men's figure skater in the world right now. And after taking home gold in the 2022 Olympics, the Quad King, as he is also known, is ready to share his story in his new book, One Jump at a Time. And we are so excited to catch up with him now. Welcome, Nathan. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, thank you for having me. So listen, I mean, congrats on the book, first of all. It is a feat just to write a book and to go that personal with yourself and to share that experience with the world. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling right now knowing that this is this is coming out? It's re The release is tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm so excited, first and foremost. Um, it's been, uh, it's actually been pretty quick writing this book, but it's really? been a really, uh, so I started after the Olympics, um, and I, you know, from the Olympics till now, we've been, you know, making sure wow. everything is, uh, is, you know, is correct, and uh, it's been, it's been a really exciting process, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, but so are you feeling, like, nervous for people to read, are you excited, is it, like, mm -hmm. what, what's the, the feeling, <laughs> what's the emotion? Yeah, definitely, there's definitely some nerves, um, but mostly excitement, you know, it's just like, uh, such, such a personal piece to me, so yeah. I'm really excited to put it out. Yeah, I mean, and one thing that stands out is how your rise, um, it was not a steady trajectory, I mean, you had a lot of hurdles that you had to face, whether it was physical, mental, mm -hmm. uh, lots of things, um, but what always gave you the strength, do you think, to just keep pushing through? and surviving all of that mm -hmm. definitely the dream of the Olympics um, I think that was the that was a core facet to continuing pushing through um, also having an amazing team um, my parents my family my coaches yeah um, constantly you know giving me the support that I needed to continue pushing forward um, and then just loving figure skating you know just having yeah. a, just like this crazy <laughs> passion for, for skating for being on the ice you have to Absolutely. you have to love what you do if you have to do it with such intensity because it's like a 24-7 thing yeah. you probably yeah. eat sleep breathe figure yeah. skating all the time <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but you know in each of the chapters you kind of start with a quote or a mantra at the beginning mm -hmm. is it something that you always did that you started your day with things like that or was it something that you learned along the way this is going to be help for me mm -hmm. my mom certainly said a lot of things um, similar to what what are um, in that chapter openers uh, to me throughout my life um, but I actually asked for her help with finding those chapter openers um, and trying to stay tr true to the chapters try to express what's what's being said in the chapters but also true to our family yeah mm -hmm. you know Mental health is such a, a, a common topic that people talk about these days. And, you know, you write about after you didn't perform so well in the 2018 Olympics that you got a mental coach mm -hmm. for 2022. How did that help you? And what do you think that you learned from that coach? Mm -hmm. I think it's just as important to train your mind as it is to train your body, especially in an elite situation like the Olympics. Yeah, um, because it's almost equally yeah, mental, absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, at that point in time, you've done the training, you've done all the work physically. You just need to make sure that you're mentally primed to be able to, um, you know, be able to do what you've what you've trained. Yeah. Um, and it was so great being able to have that mental coach. And he always emphasized, no matter what happens, like go there and have fun. Like it's yeah. such an overlooked aspect of, of competing. You know, you have all this, you have you this amazing opportunity. Perfect. Exactly. <laughs> but it's really important to just be out there, just to be able to go out there and have a really good time. Yeah. And your gold medal um, routine was to Rocket Man. Correct. And now you're teaming up with Elton again right. for um, Hold Me Closer mm -hmm. for the music video. Just how did that come about? <laughs> like, who did Elton call you? Like, what does that work? I mean, I can't even believe it came about. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, yeah, I'm just so honored to be able to work on that project with him. Um, I can't even believe that he would think of me and and, and more more uh, broadly figure skating. Uh, yeah. I haven't really seen figure skating that often in music videos. For, I know. So for Elton John to you know bringing figure skating into a music video was just so cool. Did he call you? Uh, he did. Yeah, he reached out to our team, and it was just so cool. I mean, yeah. How amazing is that? Absolutely. But um, so this isn't the only book you have coming out right now, though. Mm -hmm. um, you got a children's book coming out. Exactly. Yeah. And from what I understand, is it is it kind of about finding your joy and keeping that joy in, exactly, in the things yeah. that you love, right? Yeah. Yeah, believing in yourself. Um, my mom was a huge part of my career, so there's a big uh, facet of you know parental support in the book as well. Um, yeah. And yeah, just really excited to share sort of my story again in, in another sort of platform. Yeah, just one more question about Elton because I have to go back. <laughs> sure. But did they just send you the song and say skate whatever you want? Yeah, I mean he gave me the freedom to sort of express how I felt with the music, and it's such a beautiful piece, so it's so yeah, easy yes. to, just, to just move and you know feel the ice with that piece of music. Um, but yeah, he gave me a lot of freedom to you know, express whatever I wanted to feel. Was at it time. one take, or did you work on it? For a long time. We did a couple takes. Okay. But a it couple, was, yeah, a couple. It was fun. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. And you can pick up a copy of One Jump at a Time out everywhere tomorrow.